March Madness 2015. So we saw a Midwest matchup from the Midwest region between the number 11 seeded Texas Longhorns and the number 6 seeded Butler Bulldogs. And what a matchup this was. It was a tight battle through the first half as Butler went into halftime up by 2 with the score 26-24. But in the second half, Butler would extend their lead to as many as 7 points. And in the closing minute of the game, Javon Felix hit a three-pointer to put the Longhorns to within four points with the score 52-48. Then Alex Barlow hit a pair of clutch free throws to put it back to a six-point game to make it 54-48. And then after a missed three-pointer by the Longhorns, the Butler Bulldogs would end up sending Cameron Woods to the line, and he ended up making one of two, and then another missed three-pointer by Texas, and then Kellen Durham hit, went one of two from the line, and the final score, Butler 56, Texas 48, is the Bulldogs hold on to advance to the next round with an eight-point victory over the Longhorns. So the number six-seeded Butler Bulldogs beats the number 11-seeded Texas Longhorns, and in this game, Kellen Dunham of the Butler Bulldogs had 20 points as he led the Bulldogs in scoring. No other Bulldog had more than even a single digits. As their top scorer after that was Cameron Woods with 9 points. He also had 9 boards. So he was just 1 board and 1 point shy of a double-double. And Alex Barlow had 8 rebounds and 7 points. So he was 2 boards and 3 points shy of a double-double as well. And so Texas gets knocked off by Butler, and the Butler Bulldogs will be advancing to face Notre Dame in the Midwest region on March 21st. That'll be at 7 o'clock, so we'll be looking forward to that one. But the final score in this game, Texas 48, Butler 56 as the six-seeded Bulldogs advance.